In industries, panel which is used for hydraulic press, if you look into this panel, then there you will see two push buttons. If we press the start push button, then system will be ready. After this to operate hydraulic machine, this run push button here, we have to press this. On pressing this, hydraulic machine will start. After this, when you release push button, hydraulic machine will turn off. To stop the whole machine, simply press stop push button. After this, hydraulic machine won't start. How to make this whole starter, I am going to explain you through circuit diagram. Ok then, let's start the video. So friends, if you want to make a starter for this system, then you have to use a contactor. Through this contactor only, we will turn on or off a motor or a hydraulic machine. Besides to ready this starter, you have to use a relay also. To operate this contactor and relay, one stop push button, one start push button and one run push button also you need to use. Both these push buttons are of ANO contact and in this stop push button at the back side NC contact is used. Now for wiring of this starter, first of all let us go through circuit diagram. This relay which is used here, we will operate this relay through start and stop push buttons. When it get operated, through ANO contact of this, wiring will be done to turn on and off main contactor. So first of all what we have to do, this contactor and relay here, we have to provide neutral power supply to both these. What I did, this MCB here, from output terminal of MCB, I connected a wire and to this relay, I provided neutral power supply. After this with same terminal, I looped a wire and to this contactor also I provided neutral power supply. This contactor here, we have to provide neutral power supply to A2 terminal of contactor. And in this relay, at 14 number terminal, we have to provide neutral power supply. So connection of neutral power supply is done. Now we have to do connection of phase supply. What we have to do in connection of phase supply, to this stop push button here, we have to provide power supply to this first. For providing incoming power supply, I already connected a wire. So what I will do with the phase supply, I am connecting this wire. Now from this stop push button, power supply which goes, will go to start push button. You can see I connected a wire. Now when I press this start push button, then first of all, relay must operate. I mean system must be ready. To ready the system, this relay must operate. To operate this relay, at 13 and 14 number terminal of relay, you have to provide phase supply and neutral supply respectively. So at 14 number terminal, I already provided neutral power supply, now only phase supply is to be provided. For this, what I will do, this start push button here, with output terminal, I am connecting a wire and in this relay, at 13 number terminal, I am connecting this wire with this terminal. This connection I done just now, let us understand this through circuit diagram also. Look, we took the phase supply and to this stop push button, we provided incoming power supply. Now from this stop push button, power supply will go to start push button. And after pressing this, relay must operate. For this, I connected phase supply directly from here. Neutral power supply is connected directly to all you can see. Now after this, what we have to do in this start push button, from incoming terminal, connect a wire and with ANO contact of the relay, connect this wire. For this, I am using a blue wire. Now take this wire and in this start push button with incoming terminal, connect this wire. So at this point, I connected this wire. Now power supply from this will go to ANO contact of relay. For this, what we will do, take this wire and in this relay with common terminal, connect this wire with this terminal. So I connected this wire here. Power supply which goes to common terminal, we will get output power supply of this on this NO contact and on this NC contact. For now, I need to use NO contact. So what I will do with this NO contact, I am connecting a wire. You can see I connected a blue wire here. Now power supply through this wire will be connected with phase terminal of relay. I mean where we connected phase supply, with same terminal we have to connect this wire. That is coil of this relay, we have to provide phase supply to coil through this wire. So I am connecting this wire with this point. That is with 13 number terminal, I am connecting this wire. Wiring we done till now, this whole wiring was just to start relay. Like if I turn on the power supply, after turning on power supply when I press start push button, then relay will turn on. There was knocking sound when relay turned on, maybe not audible to you. Let us try one more time. This contact here, see this carefully. 
you can see there is movement of contact. It means this relay here is operating. When relay is operated, then only we have to turn on this. So how we will do the wiring here, let's understand this also. In this circuit diagram, you can see this NO contact here. Power supply going from this NO contact with this power supply, we connected a push button. This push button will be our run push button. After pressing this push button, main contactor must turn on. For this contactor, we will not make any holding circuit. If there is requirement of holding circuit, then you can make a holding circuit here also. For now, we are going to do connection without holding circuit here. What we have to do, this push button here, with this push button, we have to connect two wires. Take one wire and in this relay with NO contact, connect this wire with this contact. So I am connecting this wire with NO contact. You can see I did the looping of wire. Now if I press this run push button, then power supply will go from here to turn on contactor. What we will do with A1 terminal of contactor, here is the A1 terminal. So with this terminal, I am connecting this wire. So whole connection is now completed. Now whether this contactor is turning on or not, to explain this, I am connecting a lamp here, so that it is easy to explain you. Now friends, in this circuit diagram, it is told that on pressing start push button, first of all relay will turn on. So I am turning on the power supply. After turning on, when I press this, relay turned on. After this, this circuit diagram is telling us that if you want to turn on main contactor, then for this, you have to press run push button. So I am pressing this push button here. You can see here my lamp turned on. Right now I am still pressing this push button. If I release this, you can see lamp turned off. It means this machine I have, to run this machine, the start push button has to be kept pressed. If I release this push button, machine will turn off. If I turn off this, after turning off, if I press this push button, then you can see hydraulic machine is not turning on. To turn on this, press start push button. Then only by pressing this push button, machine will turn on. Friends, I hope you learned something new from this video. If you learned something new, give like on my video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.